Let's see if I can find the wave emote so I can be really cheesy. What's up, guys? Hey, how's it going? It's Sova Cam. <laughs> Today I'm going to be showing you a very little known tip uh, that a lot of people don't know about and it's very useful because as an Iron Man, having ultra compost is really important. In order to do this method, you're going to need 22 mining, you're going to need 22 herbal ore in order to make compost potions, and you're also going to have to have Bone Voyage complete the quest. Now while the requirements for Bone Voyage do take a while to complete, I would highly recommend completing Bone Voyage and getting access to Fossil Island as quickly as you can because of all the resources they have available to you, like birdhouses, seaweed, and drift net fishing, things like this. Anyway, oh, you are going to need a pickaxe as well. I forgot to say that earlier, but you will need a pickaxe for this. The first thing we're gonna need for this is volcanic ash, which you, if you don't know already, you can teleport with the dig site pin into the dig site, quick travel here to the fossil island. Once you get there, you're gonna want to run east and then south. Just basically keep running southeast until you see a whole bunch of piles of ash. You can also use this magic mushroom tree to teleport there if you have those unlocked. That'd be a lot faster way of doing it. Go away, Leo. What the fuck? Can we get an F in the chat for my boy, Leo? Now, once you're here, you're simply just going to want to mine each ash pile as they come up. I'm going to get off of this guy's world because I'm currently crashing him and I feel bad. So yeah, you just mine these and as they deplete, then you go to the next one and then rinse and repeat. This will net you a couple thousand volcanic ash per hour. So it does go pretty quick and you will need quite a lot of it for this method. Bada bum 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 bum. Okay, now that you have your volcanic ash, you're also going to need a bunch of hard Harlanders, which hopefully you have a bunch of Harlanders just laying around for this method as you need to make Harlander potions unfinished to mix with your volcanic ash. I do have a couple hundred here. So basically what you're going to want to do now is take out your Harlanders and your vials of water, mix the Harlanders into a Harlander potion unfinished. You'll do that relatively quickly. And then after that is over, you just mix your volcanic ash with your Harlander potions, make them into compost potions. So for every one compost potion, you get to make three ultra compost, which in my opinion, Harlanders at a certain point become kind of obsolete. So having something to use them for like this is actually really nice. This method can be especially useful if you're running out of ultra compost very frequently, if you're doing tons of herb runs, seaweed runs, and you're just in the middle of doing a ton of different runs per hour this can be really useful because it can quickly boost up your amount of ultra compost without having to wait for the compost bin and if you're anything like me you're a little impatient so you'd rather just make a whole bunch of ultra compost at once it's a very simple method that i think goes under the radar i think it's a little underrated i don't think a lot of iron men know about this and for iron men especially it's very useful now if you haven't already if you don't already have a bunch of compost you can go to any garden supply like Alana here in the farming guild or any gardener shop around Gilinor, you can buy these compost packs. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and buy about 10 of those. I think they're 2K each. And now you have, boom, a thousand compost. You're gonna to wanna to take all those thousand compost and put it into your tool leprechaun so you can access it from any tool leprechaun across Gilinor. Excuse my messy bag. <laughs> now what you're gonna to wanna to do is take out about 10 or 13 of these compost potions. You're gonna head over to the tool leprechaun, open up the tool leprechaun, take out the normal compost. This is this is a trick right here. So you take a compost potion, put it down on the bottom right, and then you can just spam click like this. What the compost potion does is it makes the compost, the normal compost, into super compost. And then what you do from here is you turn the super compost into ultra compost using the volcanic ash, just like a potion. And boom! Now you have tons of ultra compost. And then of course, once you're done mixing the volcanic ash into the super compost, making the ultra compost, you just put it right back in to the tool leprechaun, take out some more compost and rinse and repeat. It'll run out one by one. And then once you're done with those, you can just go ahead and go to the bank and get some more compost potions and rinse and repeat. If you guys are wondering how much volcanic ash you will need and how long this will take, listen, this only took me 15 minutes to put all these together and I ended up with 230 ultra compost which is an absolute fuck ton if you do this for about an hour hour and a half you should be able to max out your ultra compost but if you're wondering how much volcanic ash you would need for that it's about two or three volcanic ash per ultra compost so if you want to make a thousand ultra compost it's going to take you around 2500 really good ratio you can get volcanic ash really quickly i think this method is super underrated and i wanted to make this video because i want more people to know about it for a lot of people ultra compost is a huge constraint for them in farming 
farming, like they don't have enough of it. And this is a method that you can use in order to have basically unlimited amounts of ultra compost. Anyway, guys, if this guide ended up helping you or you will end up using this guide in the future, please feel free to subscribe. Make sure to follow my Twitch channel while all this content is recorded live. I will be uploading a new progress video within the week, so look out for that. And I will see you guys next time.